The Untouchables is 34 it's years insane. old. Is insane to me. That is insane. 34 years ago today, and and the most incredible part, I'm like, what a cast. It was amazing. Right? What an incredible cast, because again, Costner was still young right. and uh, like an up-and-coming star 34 years ago, right? Like, what What did Costner already been, what did he already, look that up if you don't mind, what did he already appeared in, in 1987? Field of Dreams had not... After. Yeah, the dreams had not yet, had not nope. yet hit, had right? Not hit. Hold on a second. Let's see. In 19 No Way Out had No Way Out already hit. No theaters? Way Out may have be the only All one. All right, so before. Bull Durham and Field of Dreams were after. Yep. Okay. No Way uh, Out. At that point he was in, well he got cut out of the Big Chill. That's right. Wow, yeah. American uh, Flyers though. Silverado and American yeah, Flyers. Were, I love that movie. We're kind of his big. You know what's also a movie that everybody should see and you should put this on your list too. Everybody should put this on their list. And this is a Costner movie, way, 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 way in advance. The movie Fandango. Oh yeah, he's in that. Is a movie you need to see. That is a a movie about it. It's about a group of friends who get back together, you know, years years later. Judd Nelson in that movie. And it is about you know about growing apart while still always trying to be friends from what's in the past. And I don't want to reveal, you know, they're in, what they're in search of and, and, and the ending. But you need to see that. But Costner was a relatively still somewhat unknown. And we just showed a, a, a clip of Andy Garcia Andy's being in here five too. years ago. He was a total unknown. Yep. But the knowns, man, De Niro and Costner. I mean, De Niro and Sean Connery. Connery. De Niro and Sean Connery. Look how young De Niro looks in 1987, too. And Sean Connery. <laughs> Look at Andy Garcia. Well, this is we're showing Garcia, a picture, I guess, from kid. the premiere that night in 1987. 34 years ago tonight, I guess. And Connery, he won the Oscar, did he not? For that I, role? I believe so. And De Niro, I think, only had a handful of days shooting this movie. Because his scenes were few and far between as Capone. And in the same way that you don't look at, like, I, I'm going to go in a totally different direction here. Like, The Naked Gun is not viewed as a, as a sports movie, right? <laughs> not Even really, though not the really. last half hour is a baseball game. Right, yeah. right. It's a baseball game and a, an incredible spoof on baseball that remarkably with umpiring and the showcasing of uh, the, the showboating of umpiring <laughs> and cheating from pitchers, <laughs> yeah. it still stands today. <laughs> the send up of baseball in the eighties still stands today at the end of the naked gun. But the reason why I bring this up is you don't talk about the naked gun as a sports movie. And you also don't talk about obviously the untouchable is not a sports movie, but one of the best scenes involving a baseball yes. bat maybe in movie history is in the untouchables and also the speech that de niro's capone character gives is amazing as a baseball description and analogy is pretty spot on individual a man stands at the plate he stands alone at the plate. It's time for what? Individual achievement. But when he stands out in the field, he's part of a team. <laughs> and I hosted an event years ago at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City, the 40 Under 40 Awards, okay, where the Sports Business Journal gives out awards to 40 executives and people who are under the age of 40 for their outstanding achievement. And I decided, I don't know what, I was giving out the award, I was announcing the award for teamwork or something like that. I forget why. 
but I brought a bat onto the stage <laughs> <laughs> and reenacted that scene. That's so good. Well what? I will give you I will give you a quick snap poll in the room. Yes or no. Did it work? Did it land? Or did it not at all? Those are your two choices. It worked and landed, or not at all. We have 30 seconds left in the hour, TJ Jefferson. I'm going to say it did not land at all. I'm going to say it did not. Under 40s, it might, they might not have been. And uh, What year was this? What year? Yeah, it was in the uh, late 90s. Oh, they too totally, far. it landed. Oh, so you say it, it landed. landed. You, Chris, you want to break the time? Not at all. Okay. Uh, Mike Del Tufo, we have some parting gifts for you, and that is the silence to still hear the crickets years later. So I overbid. But I tried. No, but a lot of talk in the past. And I nailed the scene. Remember that famous photograph of the Untouchables? There was one touchable in it. Remember that? There was one touchable member of the Untouchables. Oh, hey, wait. Remember that? Uh, let's see. I think we got a new photograph to see here. Can we, can we sneak it in? Hey! Yeah! Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.